All right, well, today we're going to crank out a couple more, probably fit two of these in one video. We'll see. We're working on Jasper Active Excel lesson one, steps or exercise seven, and possibly eight. We'll see how it goes. So switching between workbooks. All right, let's begin. So let's click the View tab. On the View tab, you're going to click Switch Windows. Right over here. And it says, which one do you want? Travel Expense Calculator or Price Quote? So let's click Travel Expense Calculator and notice it brings up a new window that was opened up behind the window we were just looking at. Now, point to the Excel button on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen and select price quote 0630. We've done it. Let's submit it and get our work or 100%. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Nice. I knew that was going to be short. So let's uh, close a workbook. So exercise number eight. And here we go. Come on, Jasper Active. There you be. Wow. It looks like a bunch of windows just opened up. So let's learn how to close them. Click File. On the File tab, select Open. Then you're going to Browse. Navigate to Doc. Documents, Jasper Active, Starter Files. It went right there for me, but you may need to go to Documents and then select your Jasper Active folder and then go to Starter Files. And you're going to look for Popular 2. Starter Files folder. Let me check. Documents, Jasper Active, Starter Files. There we go. It shows up now. Popular Tours. And then click open. All right. Now click file and select close. Then it says on the view tab in the windows group, click switch windows. And you're going to go to the vacation items checklist. On this one, we're going to choose the close button in the upper right hand corner. And we didn't get a pop, me pop up message about saving. Now it says close another workbook, but we're going to use the close button in the taskbar preview this time. So uh, down here in the taskbar, look for travel expense calculator one. And notice we can close it right there from the taskbar. Now, point to book two and make that the active window. And with book two, the active window, you're going to do control. Notice I clicked in the middle of it just to make sure. And then the letter W, which is close. That's the same as going to file, close. Uh, let's see, now we're going to click close in the upper right corner of the remaining price quote box, like that. And notice Excel is still running, but we've closed everything. So submit it and get it. 100%. We are cruising right along. Just a couple exercises left.